you pick up a history book and you don't really see any other cultures in there but Caucasian white people. We were like the Mexicans sitting in the back just sitting there because we had to be there. I had a teacher that would tell me like, oh, you're not going to go to college. The way things were going, I probably just would have just left school. I'm not going to lie, I've hated education. Everybody knew that the school system was discriminatory. There was an urgency for us to make a statement. We're going to push the envelope a little further. Good morning, you looking for M215? Yes, sir. That's my class. I'm Mr. Acosta. What's your name? It was really about how can we turn this around? How do we fix societal problems in our school? This class is based on critical thinking. And in that does come empowerment. I actually know my history now. I started getting A's and B's. Our students are graduating at a much higher rate. Our kids are going to college at a much higher rate. State School Superintendent Tom Horn wants to end ethnic studies programs. I'm calling on Tucson Unified School District to shut down the ethnic studies program. Yeah, all right. Yeah. They won't use my tax dollars to promote teaching of hate speech, sedition. The program is administered by vehemently anti-American zealots. No matter how far this bill goes, we're here together in the lucha. We believe it's a matter of life and death. When they try to take these classes away, it's something impossible. God, God have all. The idea that race is no longer an issue, what we're saying is BS. You want different culture, go back to that culture. But this is America. You get away from my border! It's about the freedom to ask the questions that are the most pertinent in the way they view the world. When you have students demonstrating wearing brown shirts, bandanas, this is serious.